welcome it's day three and our emotions and uh, today it's about building a container or a box a pretty box for those unpleasant and pleasant emotions that we carry with us uh, so yesterday we talked about listen and embrace and how we have to open our minds and hearts and be more attentive to all of our emotions and make sure that we let them be part of and welcome them to us and include them. And so today talking about building a container is the next step. So what I forgot to mention um, that's very relevant to listen and embrace it's the self-compassion part that um, once we call it in what the emotion is and when we experience like what is it all about and we embrace it the embracing is technically the self-compassion that we're giving to ourselves it's the tender care that we shall give that emotion not to say that it's all good and everything is great it's more to allow it to be present so by letting ourselves know that whatever we're going through is not easy for instance you can hold your hand on your heart that's in a way embracing it and letting be part of yourself so the next step about building a container how they come together is and actually I have this one example that happened to me today that so I get excited I had some issue happening and it doesn't go the way I want it and there have been a lot of back and forth so I had to find a way to understand what is the underlying emotions that emotion that I have and it might have been frustration I think it was kind of not accepting and so by acknowledging this I was able to create a container to just have this one emotion and yes it's pulling and pushing inside of me and saying yeah, yeah no yes no and that's the fight when that we're having internally and what's coming out is maybe you know aggressive voices or maybe some words that we choose that shouldn't be said and by building this container we are giving ourselves a time frame when we want to do that work that listen and embrace where we are picking either that right at that moment to call it a pause move away from the situation and then right away deal with that particular emotion or you put it in the container that's why i said a nice one if you want to and then move on with your day and pick a nice day or a moment in your day that you can really address that feeling so that it doesn't become like a big lump and it's not being carried over to your next action or the next task or the next interaction with someone so you really can let go of that one emotion and so it becomes less so what i did i went outside I read and took a few breathers and yes it's still there so I just pulled up one of the guided meditations that from the course that I'm taking right now and um, it gave me some more rest not necessarily that this problem is resolved but for me it's not taking over my body and my mind and sets the day for that so now I'm fresh set I'm ready to take the day and move on and so this is actually you might have multiple containers at the same time maybe that one situation has caused you to feel many many different emotions maybe even accomplishment and frustration at the same time so it's kind of like giving time for each emotion at its own time so they're not becoming one big lump of that was not good but more of like okay what was it really what is this one emotion relate to my other stories that i have so it's very relevant for us to differentiate 
all the different emotions we have and creating these containers where we then give her our own time to work with that. So this is just a little bit of input on how to deal with emotions. And I'm just talking here for a couple minutes. So you're not going to be enlightened and yay, I got it. And super, um, it's hard work. It's something that will always come back. So just because we did it once doesn't mean it's all over and good. What it is, is just a beginning of acknowledging that all our emotions are okay when we deal with them and giving them time to be looked at and giving the time to be dissolved and being free again. So this was my third day. If you have any questions and something doesn't make sense, please let me know. I'd love to give you more input and maybe different aspects to look at this. All right, take care.